10 animal species where the female is the boss. Male dominance is widely thought to be the norm in the animal kingdom, and it has been a major source of debate in modern human civilization. Other species, some well-known and some unknown, with extraordinarily sophisticated social arrangements or perplexing life cycles may astonish us with their remarkable female supremacy within the species. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about 10 animal species where the female is the boss. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Toppy Antelope Male ungulates are infamous for their chaotic and sometimes frenzied chase of the female, but the female toppy antelope of sub-Saharan Africa flips the script by hounding males for sexual interactions during the mating season. Fights erupt between females when they seek out their favorite male during estrus, which lasts only one day every year, making competition urgent and often fierce. Despite the fact that females have taken over the mating game in this species, the men for whom they compete are those who are the most aggressive, forceful, and capable. Females may select males with whom they have previously mated, and they may even take their dominant behavior to the next step by disrupting matings between competitor females and desired males. Number 9. Naked Mole Rat The odd, subterranean, hairless rodent known as the naked mole rat lives underground like grubs in colonies managed by a dominating queen in a manner similar to a bee or termite. Naked Mole Rats which are native to hot, harsh plains in Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya, forage in complicated underground tunnels and have thick, translucent skin and sharp, elongated incisors. To maintain supremacy in the insect-like colony, female mole rats rely on amazing adaptations. The queen is the colony's single breeding female, preventing all other females from reproducing through violent dominance and social role enforcement which frequently consists of physically shoving other colony members. The queen exclusively mates with a few selected guys who gain weight in comparison to non-breeding males. Special spinal adaptations allow the female mole rat's spine to lengthen as she becomes longer and heavier than even the mating males, outgrowing the rest of the colony like a queen termite. Number 8. Phalaropes The three species of phalaropes are colorful and unusual shorebirds that have evolved webbed feet to swim in deep water and are recognized for their strange reversal of the gender roles generally associated with birds. Phalarope hens had the upper hand in size, attractiveness, and social structure in a spectacular show of avian female dominance. Females of the three phalarope species are significantly more colorful and larger than the drab males, implying full dominance. Phalarope hens are notorious for establishing a harem of males and pursuing desired men, fighting with other females to gain access to the mates they desire. Number 7. Birds of Prey Many nations' heraldry includes a magnificent eagle, falcon, or goshawk gracing a coat of arms, which is best assumed to be a female if it appears enormous and powerful. Male birds of prey may be slightly smaller or even tiny compared to females in an unusual case of reverse sexual dimorphism, depending on their environment. Females are slightly larger than males in species whose prey is simple to catch, such as eagles, mammal-eating video hawks, and old-world vultures. Females of species that pursue more elusive prey may dwarf the males. Female excipitors, such as goshawks, which feed on other avian species, and bird-eating falcons may observe a 50% difference in mass between males and females. Number 6. Octopus Mating may appear to be joyful for some species, but male octopuses confront the problem of mating with robust and aggressive females who frequently choose to swallow the male for extra food after obtaining the male's sperm. Octopus sexual cannibalism requires males to jump through several hoops in order to mate and survive, including jumping on the female from behind and then fleeing. Longer mating arms have developed in animals where females routinely consume males to keep a safe distance while impregnating ravenous females. Sexual cannibalism is so common in octopuses that a Panamanian researcher's 1982 discovery of benign cohabitation in beak-to-beak, -beak, repeat mating in the larger Pacific striped octopus was overlooked until it was proven real 30 years later. Number 5. Mosquitoes Although we identify male animals with aggression and predation, only female mosquitoes are the blood-sucking agents of attack in one of mankind's most prevalent but well-understood natural adversaries, the mosquito. Mosquitoes, which are not bugs but rather members of the thread horns, a group of long-bodied flies, have a well-deserved negative reputation among humans. Their name means little fly in Spanish. 
Female mosquitoes, technically classified as ectoparasites due to their disagreeable and sometimes deadly disease vectoring activity, have a very specific motive for attacking living victims in search of blood. Number four, orca. The world's most powerful and lethal dolphin species, the killer whale or orca, patrols the oceans in wolf pack-like groupings called pods for prey. Female orcas stop reproducing around the age of 40, but they can live for up to 90 years. Female orcas over the age of 35 are more likely to lead the flock in those later years than younger females or male orcas. At the same time, when the salmon supply in the Puget Sound study area was low, older females took on more leadership. While the research's ramifications are debatable, the data show that the presence of older female leaders assists the pod in finding prey and transmitting environmental and ecological knowledge while they hunt. Number three, spotted hyena. The spotted hyena has the most powerful bite of any animal, and the female is the larger, stronger, and dominant gender in this species. The spotted hyena, which is native to sub-Saharan Africa, is the largest hyena species and a skilled hunter that will even eat the bones after a successful kill. The spotted hyena, which is related to felines rather than the dog family it so closely resembles, is likewise a striking example of female dominance in a mammal species. Female spotted hyenas have significant physical and social structure-based adaptations that place them as high-ranking ladies in their clans. Number two, praying mantis. Praying mantises are alien-like in appearance and have an equally unearthly reproduction mechanism. They are prized as garden pest hunters and maintained as pets or subjects of scientific study. Certain male praying mantis species, such as the Chinese mantis, contribute to the reproductive potential of the female by enabling females to eat them as prey after mating. Female fertility increases as prey size increases, and a male mantis clearly serves as a useful supply of huge prey. According to a study published in the Royal Society B, 63% of the female Chinese mantis diet during the breeding season may consist of sexually cannibalized males. Number one, dwarf mongoose. Members of the mongoose family are well-liked carnivores with a weasel-like look and are admired for their ability to bring down snakes. The dwarf mongoose of sub-Saharan Africa, one of the smallest members of the mongoose family, is also noted for organizing into female-run social groups of roughly 12 to 15 individuals with some quite unusual laws and regulations. The pygmy mongoose, the African continent's smallest native carnivore, is led by an alpha female who has sole mating rights among all females in her colony. Other females are not allowed to procreate, although they may help raise the young of the dominant female mongoose. If other females do breed, their offspring may be killed to maintain the social hierarchy. The position of alpha male, designated as a guard in charge of territorial defense and acting as a sentinel, is accommodated in the dwarf mongoose social system. However, his position is lower than that of the alpha female, who governs everything. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.